And before I get into that, I'll tell you guys a short story that happened at the Capitol one time, many, many years ago. Four of the greatest men in Islamic history were posted up at the Capitol one day. And they met up. And they were talking about life. They were young, in their youth, just like you guys. And they all made goals. So one of them, his name was Musa ibn Zubayr. Musa ibn Zubayr ibn al-Awwal. He's the son of the famous companion. He said, where are your goals? Every single person mentioned your goal. So they all looked at him and they said, you start. Why are you telling us, you start. So Musa ibn Zubayr, he said, my goal in life is to do two things. One is to become the governor of the country of Iraq. And two, to marry two women. One is the daughter of Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib, and the other is the daughter of Talha ibn Ubaidillah. Two great daughters of great companions. That was his goal. He ended up getting it. He ended up becoming the governor of Iraq, and he ended up marrying both women. Abdul Malik ibn Marwan was next. Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, he said, my goal is a young man from Medina. He happened to be at the cabin. He said, my goal is to become the Khalifa, to become the leader of the Muslim world. And he ended up becoming the leader of the Muslim world for 13 years. Uwat ibn Zubayr was the third man. He said, I want to become a scholar in fiqh and hadith. And today he is from what we nickname the seven scholars, or the seven jurists. And the fourth guy, Abdullah ibn Umar, he was better than the other three. What do you notice between all three? It was all dunya matters. Power. Two of them had to do with power. One of them had to do with marriage. Another had to do with the end, but still, it's in this life. Abdullah ibn Umar was smarter than the other three. He said, my goal is to get to Jannah. That's my goal. Paradise. And it is, yeah, it, at the end of the narration, it says, maybe that Abdullah ibn Umar entered Jannah. Right? Look how they were, they made goals, they set goals. Without looking at what their goals were, they set goals, but they didn't stop. They were hungry, they were inspired, they were ambitious until they got to it. Nothing would stop them. And that is the goal, of, that is, that should be the characteristic of a Muslim. Should be very, very ambitious. What is the thing that you have to leave off? One of the things that leads off that, that Makes, makes us lazy and makes us uh, forget about our goals and not get to our potentials is procrastination. We always say tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to seek knowledge. Tomorrow I'm going to start playing in the mission. Tomorrow I'm going to start getting good grades next semester. Tomorrow I'm going to get a nice job. Tomorrow I'm going to start a nice business, whatever it is. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. One of the early scholars, he says, in the Akbar al Junoodi Iblis Sofa. You know, at least you got a squad. You got a whole army. And in the army, you got lieutenants and generals. One of his main lieutenants is a guy by the name of Sofa. Sofa, you can roughly translate it to procrastination. I'm going to do it tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Next thing you're six feet under. Done nothing. But the Prophet you warned us. From procrastinating. So, first thing you gotta leave off is procrastination. I'm gonna do this tomorrow. Do it right now. Don't start tomorrow. Whatever your goal is, don't wait for tomorrow. Start today. I'm gonna start praying Fajr at the Masjid tomorrow. No, no, no. Start praying Isha at the Masjid right now. Whatever you need to do, start right now. Don't ever delay. That's one of the traps of Shaitan. He tells you start tomorrow. You start a little routine, it goes on for two or three days, and then you stop. A few months later, you go back, two or three days, you stop. This happens all the time, right? Procrastination. You gotta stop procrastinating. This life is short. We don't have time. Next thing you know, last night, I was in Cedar. Y'all know what happened to Cedar last night. I was there right after the shooting. That young man, he didn't know he was gonna die in the morning. That could have been any of us. We don't know when we're going to die. We can die at any moment, in any place. We got to work right now. Which leads me to the second point, and that is, what do we have to do? We got to put in efforts. 
energy. If you don't, if you don't try, you're not going to get anywhere. You got to try. You got to put an effort. لولا المشقة سال الناس كلهم الجود يفطر والإعدام قتال. If everybody tried, all of us in the room today, right now, if all of us, mashallah, were successful and we're trying, in fact, everybody in the world, we would have problems, right? You gotta have people who try and people who are what? People who are lazy to differentiate the good from the bad. But guess what? There's a reason why only a few people are successful. There's a reason why, because they put an effort. And what, no matter what field they're in, what industry, every single successful person put in time and effort. He says that when putting in effort, when you review, you want to be successful. And whoever wants to be successful, can't sleep at night. You want honor and you sleep at night? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You're still dreaming. You're still dreaming. You can't be sleeping eight hours a day, all right, and be successful. You think you're going to be successful? No. You gotta put in time and effort. Somebody who's trying to look for pearls and rubies in the ocean, and he's swimming. But he doesn't want to swim. He's just floating, and then he's gonna drown. That's like somebody who wants to be successful but doesn't want to put in effort. He says in the end of the line, very nice. He says at the end that you. Dreaming of success without putting in effort is what? It's mind boggling. This doesn't, it's one plus one equals two, equals three. One plus one equals three, right or wrong, guys? One plus one equals two. Efforts, success. They go hand in hand. There's no way you can be successful without putting in effort. All right? So we got to put in our energy. To whatever we're doing. If you're seeking knowledge, put an energy. If you're going to school, academics, come on. Don't settle for second place. Don't put a roof on top of yourself. Let the sky be your limit. Let the sky be your limit. Try to get a 4.0 GPA. Try to get something high. If you're doing business, if you're working, try to be the best. The Prophet he told us in the authentic hadith, in Allah that Allah has word excellence in everything. فَإِذَا قَتَلْتُمْ فَأَحْسِنُمْ كِتْرًا وَإِذَا ذَبَحْتُمْ فَأَحْسِنُمْ كِبْحًا Allah has word excellence in everything. That we should be excellent in everything as Muslims. Even if we're sacrificing an animal. The other day we had the little sacrifice that brought us out. Right? Even if last, last, year it was a, last year there was a little bit of a problem. Remember? If you're going to sacrifice, sacrifice in a grave. Even if you're doing something so small as sacrificing an animal. Do it in the best way possible. Try to be perfect. Don't settle for second place. Don't be in the back seat. <laughs>